50 Days of Fuego, Day 12, The Beast Kiss. Hey, welcome to Day 12 of 50 Days of Fuego. It's probably the first kind of cool day in a really, really long time, so I said, hey, why don't we film 50 Days of Fuego outside, since it's so nice. So, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna visit my beehives that I have in my backyard, and we're gonna make a classic honey cocktail called the Bee's Kiss. It's got a little bit of white rum, some honey, and a little bit of heavy cream, that's it. So these guys are starting to get a little upset, so I'm just gonna make this pretty quick. The Bee's Kiss is a pretty simple cocktail, but it's really, really fantastic and delicious. What we're gonna start with is, of course, uh, an ounce and a half of our white rum, Fuego. It's gonna work really well in this cocktail. We're gonna do about three quarter ounce to a whole ounce of honey. Now, I use a honey syrup because when you're using honey in a cocktail, if it's cold, it's just gonna clump up at the bottom of the shaker and not really work its way into the cocktail itself. So if you do a like three to one honey to water syrup, it's gonna flow a little bit easier, it's gonna mix into your cocktails easier, and it's just gonna be all around easier to work with. To that, we're gonna add about an ounce of heavy cream. Just your regular old heavy cream, it's gonna work well any way you want. You see, I have to use, use these cap bottles so the bees don't bite them. Once that's all in there, we'll just add our ice and we'll start to shake. So once your shaker gets nice and frosty on the outside, we'll go ahead and strain it out into our cocktail glass. Top it with a little bit of fresh grated nutmeg. And if you have it, a nice little bit of fresh honeycomb is always nice. Now I told you before I like to cook and make drinks with stuff that's as local as possible, especially if you make it yourself. These bees are my wife's pride and joy, and she does a fantastic job with them, and we get fantastic stuff like the Bee's Kiss. Um, I can't really drink it through this. Oh yes, I can. Wow, that's really good. Um, the Bee's Kiss is cool because it's light enough to be kind of a summery cocktail. That milk gives it a creamy texture that really works well with that kind of bright note of the fuego but it's got that nutmeg on top so if you wanted to serve it as more of a winter seasonal well you could um <laughs> thanks for joining me on day 12 of 50 days of fuego the bees kiss give it a try if you get a chance let us know what you think in the comments below and uh thanks for joining me in our backyard we'll see you tomorrow